This is the bowl area of the pipe that I'm making. And one of the things that I uh, found in the research online is that uh, people report that uh, if you leave it just in the state of wood, that uh, eventually you'll burn through it. And so what I want to do is come up with a liner uh, that will resist the heat and therefore make the uh, pipe last significantly longer. So what I have is through a lot of hiking we've collected a number of different rocks. So I'm looking for one that has a natural bowl shape to it. Uh, this one's a bit too large on the opening. Passes all the way through. This one I would need to drill out just a bit. This one's a solid quartz crystal. This one has the makings of what would be acceptable. It's got a hollow interior, but a bit small. I was very fortunate in finding this one, and I think this is the one that's going to work. So it's pyramid shaped, and it's got a nice hollow opening to it. And it does have a hole all the way through on the bottom end. So what I've done is I've marked the uh, top of the rock. I need to find that. Whoops, where'd it go? Actually right here, the bottom edge. And that mark right there is theoretically going to line up with the mark that I made right here. So I'm going to use a Ryobi drill and very carefully carve out the bowl out of wood to receive that rock. This is the pipe that I made and it's made out of a branch from a black cherry tree. Uh, the tree was struck by lightning and that's what caused this bark to split out. It's about an inch and a half across in uh, diameter and about 21 inches long. I was able to use the branch a secondary branch and that's the bowl and then I fitted a piece of uh, crystal rock quartz crystal rock I believe it's actually rose quartz onto that that'll hold the tobacco the leather wrap is used because there was a split in the wood and it was leaking air so I uh, soaked, uh, this is a boot lace, uh, in water for about 10 minutes and then uh, stretched and wrapped it and uh, that closed it right back up. So I've got good airflow uh, without leaks. And I simply carved out the end. So this is uh, what I used to make the uh, pipe. This is uh, from a branch of a tree that was struck by lightning. It is a uh, black cherry so it's a very hard wood. And to drill the hole through it I used a 3 8 inch one foot long concrete drill bit to finish off the ball area, I used a Ryobi and a drill bit, and that took about 30 minutes to uh, size that. And to do the uh, the end, I started. You could uh, certainly just carve it out. Um, I used this power tool, and uh, that did about 90% of the work. And then I just finished it off 
with a an ordinary file and that took about seven or eight minutes to do that uh, drilling it I had to drill from both ends because uh, this drill bit is 12 inches long and the final pipe is about 21 inches long in order to get the hole all the way through this uh, 20 inch long piece of wood I have a 12 inch long drill bit and so I drilled uh, this end here first and then I went to the other end and I cut the end off about an inch of it uh, with just an ordinary saw and then I drilled from this end and was very fortunate that about in the middle those two connected so I've got proper airflow and then I simply glued the end back on and I'll dress it up a little bit so that um, that cut line is uh, masked. I'll probably put a piece of leather around it. This is the first uh, smoke of my pipe. I've got some tobacco loaded right here and what I'm using is 100% organic tobacco, natural American spirit. So not being a pipe smoker, we'll give this a try. Probably should have kept that mash lift. That's okay, I've got a whole box of them. So it seems to work well. Uh, there is some air leakage around where the rock fits. So I'll seal that up with some, uh, some glue and uh, some wood flakes. I saved those. So I'll make a paste and I'll work that in. That's why I'm not getting proper airflow through here. I'm getting a little bit too much air through the outside edges, but that's really easy to fix. So I would say it's a success. Very happy with it. it took me about three hours to put the project together. It took me a couple weeks to figure the whole thing out. This will be the second test of uh, smoking my pipe that I just made. I put some uh, wood glue and some wood shavings around the edge here where the stone bowl connects to the wood, uh, I was getting too much airflow and it wasn't able to uh, direct the flow of air uh, through the tobacco. So we'll give this another try. Much better than the first attempt. This will be for ceremonial purposes. So not a lot of tobacco will be needed. 